Yo, shout out to everybody came out to the show, Nashville, Tennessee, Legalized Freedom Tour. Uh, we're, we're working on taxes um, the other day. And Mighty Soul's like, I'm getting really confused with all these freedom tours. She's like, okay. So the one right now is Legalized Freedom. I'm like, yes. She's like, but last year was Freedom of Speech. I was, I was like, yeah. She's like, what was the one before that? I was like, I don't know, going viral tour or something? The fucking 2020 debacle that didn't happen. Uh, but my next stop is Corpus Christi, Texas, May 5th through the 7th. Get your tickets now, chingobling.com. We have uh, Arlington, Texas, May 12th through the 15th. New Braunfels, May 20th. Lubbock, Texas, May 22nd. Bryan College Station, May 28th. San Angelo, June 3rd. Odessa, June 4th. Austin, Texas, June 9th. Albuquerque, June 15th. El Paso, man, I'm working a lot in June. Shit. El Paso, June 16th through the 18th. Irvine, July 6th. So many more. Get your tickets now. Chingobling.com. We're also hitting Ontario, Denver, Oklahoma City, Chicago, Phoenix, <clears throat> San Jose, Brea, Oxnard, San Antonio, Addison. Chingobling.com for that and more. Sus. Feel good to be on the road, working all hard. <sighs> yeah, man. I mean, you know, stand-up is fun. It's just the traveling and all that shit that comes with it. Um, you know, you're not home. You just feel like you're missing out on a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, but hey, we appreciate, I don't mind going <clears throat> as long as y'all motherfuckers show up. Right. Don't have me out there far as shit. We're like, man, I could have went and did Laredo, Victoria, some shit. Well, I could have did Waco. How many of these are you driving to, you think, versus uh, flying <clears throat> in Texas? Um, I think we're driving a damn near all of them. It just might be like. Where you're gonna fly back from Lubbock, or yeah. I think we'll fly to like Odessa, stuff like that. When it's when it's really far, but yeah, man, super excited. I, I enjoy doing stand up. Uh, we'll be releasing um, a project to YouTube. I'm just still toying with the title. I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out, and a couple of like last minute little details, mixing it, making sure it looks good and everything. Be on the lookout for that. For sure. Uh, do you have any particular, I mean, we don't want to call it, I don't favorites, but like when you hit the Texas market, are you like, I'm really looking forward to this area? Not necessarily because of the crowds of the show, but just because you like that area of Texas. <clears throat> huh. Um, well, shit, you said, don't make it about the crowd. Well, you can, I'm saying, so you're <laughs> like, what about us? We're a great crowd over here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't be having no woke audiences. People are not sensitive and uptight. So all the audiences are pretty great can't really complain at all because they know what they're getting yeah you know they know what they're getting so yeah they're like fuck yeah dude you know shit's gonna be funny it's gonna be inappropriate and funny uh i think i think we like when when you're located in a convenient spot where you're able to get to stuff you need in and out for example no nah, but able to get your able to get to the stuff like for example um i just did tacoma and when Mighty, Mighty Soul, she, she'll book the hotel or whatever. She don't always know. We don't know. We're not from Tacoma. We don't be knowing everything about it. We're just like trying to hurry up and play travel agent and make sure that we're not too far from the venue. Mm -hmm. We're trying to see how far we are from the airport, stuff like that. But you don't know you're going to be right up on the feeder. There ain't nothing walking distance. You can go eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nothing to eat around there. You're literally going to have to be like, well, you ain't got no rental car. Do you really want to get into Uber Eats and waste all that time? I mean, not Uber Eats. Um, an Uber yeah. to go get to an area. Somebody's hungry. So I had to do Uber Eats in uh, Tacoma. You know, it's one of those things where, can you imagine what it would have been like 20, 30 years ago, touring like this heavily? Like, do you think it would have been cooler? Or do you think it would have been less cool to not have the convenience of like, you know, I'm on a run. I got to call an Uber or Uber Eats or have things like, you know, taken to your door. You know, like the convenience of just no, it, life? it helps. It helps big time because it, it gives you that added option. Whereas if you go look at my most recent vlog, <clears throat> which I made public, you motherfuckers go subscribe at CBTV. Because um, I like missed a week. It was just, dog, it was just a headache. Like, I can't play road manager and cameraman and comedian and editor and fucking be everywhere at once. <clears throat> so um, that vlog literally has footage from. It's it's like West Palm Beach, Miami, back to West Palm Beach, uh, San Antonio, <clears throat> you know, mm -hmm. and and I try to keep every stop pretty brief while I'm editing the shit. But um, but there's a few clips in there <clears throat> where I'm I'm eating bullshit from the lobby, the fucking lean cuisine, Stouffer's, whatever, like punk ass TV dinner, you know. So that was a that that sucked. Like if you if if y'all literally go watch that vlog, you'd be like, 
Chingo's literally eating out the lobby. Yeah, I think we're going to have to revisit our uh, our health challenge. <laughs> we just got to fall into the wayside this second time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm supposed to have jujitsu tonight, but my wife's telling me, she's like, uh, I don't plan on filing an extension. We need to do these taxes. We need to sit down and finish going through all these numbers. So hurry up, finish podcasting, and we got to do these taxes. And ain't no jujitsu for you. You better look at YouTube. Well, well, I'll send you that video for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of other other entertainment you can watch, uh, there's a new series, a limited series coming on HBO called We Own This City, and I feel like we should watch this trailer because it looks, I just, I haven't seen it, but it looks like it might be something what good because this, this actor is really good. The guy, the guy that played the Punisher? Yeah. I forgot his name. You guys know who I am? Please, let me see your hands. On the ground, you down on the ground. All right, so tell me something. We asked the questions. I'm just curious. I mean, what brought y'all into us? Long story. A lot of twists. No doubt. No doubt. I'm Nicole Steele with the Department of Justice. In a city of 620,000, BPD cops reported over 300,000 pedestrian stops in the last five years. You guys have locked up and beat on so many people, we can't get 12 in a box we're willing to trust what a cop says. Could there ever be a moment where a police officer performed their job in such a manner that you would agree with a finding that he should be fired for abusive behavior or brutality? Sir. Has it ever happened? We're doing our jobs. What do people want for us to stop policing? They want us to do it without the collateral damage. You know what the Baltimore cops who don't have complaints are doing every day? No. They sure as hell ain't policing. And you can't just blame the cops. We serve the politicians who thrive on being tough on crime. And when they reinstated me, they put me in a unit made up of a bunch of the biggest crooks in the whole goddamn department. These men right here, my detectives, we do things by the book. Mr. The Menace, I'm living. Drug war justifies a lot. Mr. Domenic. This is a dysfunctional police department with a culture that looks at accountability as a four-letter word. I told you weeks ago about a federal investigation. There's always a rumor of a federal investigation. This shit never happens. It's Baltimore. This shit been going on for a long while. We just followed the leader. Am I going to lose my job over this? Mr. Domenic. Look around. We built this machine where half the damn country part with money and power chew up the other half. They didn't have anything to begin with. Watch it work. I feel like you got it. I teach these young kids to be good, honest cops. Go, please! Rest is up to them. Interesting. He looks like an interesting character. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Baltimore cops are notorious. They have a very bad reputation. <laughs> yeah. So the plot they had a bad reputation. Dude, it's terrible, right? <laughs> the plot is uh, a limited series according to the network officials page. We own the city. The six-hour limited series chronicling the rise and fall of the Baltimore Police Department's Gun Trace Task Force. Oh, interesting. Is that, is that a blue city? Oh, it has to be. You're choking <laughs> me? Come on. Come on, man. It examines the corruption and the moral collapse that fe- that befell an American city in which the policies of drug uh, prohibition and mass arrest were championed at the expense of actual police work. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Very fascinating. Very yeah. fascinating. HBO, man. HBO makes some, some pretty fire stuff, you know, for the most part. Mm-hmm. Traditionally, yeah. They, yeah, they did The Wire, right? Right. The Sopranos. Never saw it, but I heard it was great. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Never, shit. Uh, everything Danny McBride put out, damn near. True, yeah. Game of Thrones is the only thing I can really reference in recent time, because other than that, I mean, Nip, remember Nip Tuck? I know, I'm, I know of the show. I never watched it. I think Nip Tuck was an HBO show. Uh, shit. I think that was it. I can remember. Entourage, I never got into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I even had that shit on DVD. Yeah? <laughs> mm-hmm. DVD packs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Entertainment, there's only only so much you can do, I feel like, this day without getting uh, called a extreme show one way or the other. So I feel like these places have to, like, they got to put a little bit of everything in there, but you, you see more of the left because they're the ones that are going to call you out, right? Like these 
left institutions who run a lot of these networks be like, look, we need more of our messaging in here. So whatever you do, make sure that that overshadows everything. Yeah. So you're saying that that show, you're saying it's going to be all about like cops are bad, cops are bad, anti-cop rhetoric. Oh, yeah. I mean, just from that trailer, the trailer looks great, but that's probably what you're going to see more of than anything else. Like, uh. I think it's Caviezel is this guy, the, the actor's name. He's be like, hey, I'm not a corrupt cop, you know, but maybe it's like, I'm just doing what I got to do. What's his name? Bernthal, John Bernthal. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caviezel's Superman, I think. Um, well, like I said, the Baltimore police department is notorious. They're notorious for like, you know, just acting a fool, beating the shit out of people. And, you know, so I'm sure it's part of a larger thing. Like they said, you know, the war on drugs and all this type of shit. But hey, you got an open border. So you about to have buku fentanyl. Yeah. You know, that's going to make human trafficking and crime and everything else. So, you know, it's nuanced. But yeah, hopefully it's not woke. You know, people ain't yeah, that gonna, would suck. They're, they're not going to go for that shit. <clears throat> um, there's an old, there's a video of Will Smith uh, getting, getting, punk, getting punk by Jay. Did you see it? Play that shit. I think this is it. Let me try to find it real quick. Make sure I know I'm, it was lacking a little bit of context, but. I saw what I needed to see to arrive at, at a definitive. <laughs> I saw what I wanted to see. Jada is toxic. Damn, this is just a still of it. I can't find the video of it anymore. Yeah, y'all can look into it. Um, she just started filming him saying, hasn't uh, this person helped us a lot in our relationship since we started a round talk, table talk, or whatever the fuck. And he just looks annoyed. Like, it's kind of hard to see, like, okay, is he joking around? Fuck. Because he, right. he was saying, social media is my bread and butter, and don't be filming me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he wasn't in on it at all. I mean, the, the clip that I saw, it looks like he was wearing like maroon or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then and then at the end, she jumped on the camera, put it in selfie mode, and was like, see, he uh, this person, this therapist, or whoever, is helping us. I some mean, shit. what happens? I mean, I, we, can't, we can only guess, right? When you get to that level of fame... Where you let shit like this fly, but you're simultaneously considered like Hollywood royalty, you know, like people are punking him, but also people are praising him. Bro, um, man, there's a lot of like uh, speculative, alleged things, right? That how open their relationship was and who all they were messing around with and how and who and all this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, a lot of times we look at it through the lens of like, well, how are you Hollywood elite? But at the same time, you're getting punked. And how is it that you're multimillionaire, but you don't look happy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or how is it that what stressed you out in this industry? What's going on in your life that you what would possess you to go up there and slap the one of the goats? You know, what I mean, Chris Rock. Yeah. And, um, you know, but it's, it's kind of like. There's some rumors, bro. There's some rumors like I saw one clip, but it's hard to verify some of this shit where an inside person was saying saying something about Charlie Sheen and Will Smith were fighting over the same trans person. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's what this person was saying. <laughs> so it's almost like he has other, he has other shit going on besides Jada Pinkett punking the shit out of him every other day. I think that's yeah. it. A resurfaced video from 2019. Am I tripping? Where's the fucking audio? There it is. Oh, yeah. Coming right. to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me oh my goodness. if you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she don't just... Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? <sighs> and that she put that on her Instagram. Wow. And it is Will Smith such a good actor that it's hard to tell, like, okay, right. you know, are they really mad at each other? Was he serious about don't just, you know, put me on your thing, mm -hmm. right? It's almost like, oh, he was halfway joking. Y'all weren't there. Or they, they laughed about it right before or whatever. But it, it still, man, right now you got all this, all the eyes on you. Yeah. You know, you, you had that spectacle. 
you out of character. You know, don't Kanye couldn't have did that. Went up there and slapped somebody. No, but I wish he had. <laughs> There's a lot of people I wish he would have slapped. Yeah, but you know, I guess everybody's protecting him or what. I don't know. They just said you can't come up to the Oscars for ten years. That's it. Yeah, didn't even take his award away. Which whatever, I guess. Uh, speaking of Kanye, though, he's he's in the news. Well, he skipped out on Coachella. Is there a Coachella uh, going on? Yeah, bro, Coachella's every year. Yeah, no, but I didn't. I mean, they, they just canceled E3. Why? I, I, some are speculating COVID reasons already, <laughs> which is why when I mentioned about Philadelphia's indoor mask mandate, I don't know where it was going down, but like E3 is huge, right? And where where was that going to be? I don't know. That's what oh, I'm saying. I don't know if it was it was supposed to be in Philadelphia or whatever, but we're starting to hear these subtle rumbles of things going back to two years ago. And it's like, why? For one, China's in lockdown. I know this sounds like RPT, but like uh, China's, sh- Shanghai and all these other cities, like millions and millions and millions of people are locked down. All this footage is coming out, but they won't, like, we don't really know. So why is it? Like, is it a variant or why? What, what, is it COVID still? What y'all, what y'all tripping on? That's what they're trying to, trying to say, man. Yeah, it's trippy, trippy. I don't know. Uh, they probably getting ready to take Taiwan. I don't really don't know what the fuck that shit's about. Maybe these were political dissidents, and I don't know. But speaking of Kanye, though, um, I mean, they're all over. Like, I'm just kind of crawling through the internet from time to time, looking at, at entertainment news because it's still it's stuff you got to mention from time to time because it has such an impact on on culture. And there's just a bunch of Kim and Kanye stuff where it's just Kim being interviewed and talking about their personal life and just saying, I just want Kanye to be happy, you know, and this, that, and the other. I haven't heard any of the interviews or she's even done a couple of podcasts where she's gone into detail about Pete and the family and their daughter, you know, the kids and so the whole thing. I don't know, man. Like, I understand that they've accomplished a whole lot of shit from where they started, you know, I guess the sex tape and everything before that and just bullshit. But like this family sucks. Absolutely sucks. And when people just veg out on their shows, kind of makes me a little, <laughs> kind, of, kind of makes me a little ticked. Yeah, man, that's the culture, man. That's American culture. You know, it's like junk food. Um, I mean, they have a science to it, right? How they edit those shows, how they put them together to kind of reel you in. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it it is it is like a like a sign of the times, like a symptom of our society. Like, look at this person. She had a little sex tape. Yeah. And now look. You know what I mean? Someone was saying that there might be another one, an unreleased tape. Did you hear that? <laughs> she had it in the vault just in case. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, who was it? I'm trying to find it here. Someone's saying, uh, uh, claiming that they have a, an unreleased tape that they're trying to uh, let out. Really? Yeah. Who is this person saying? I don't know. I got to try to find it. But it's just like. I told you, um, she walked right past me in the club. No. Uh, right before, uh, she, like, before she got real famous. Uh-uh. Yeah, it was like some Hollywood club. My buddies were DJing, and um, I thought she was Latina or something. I don't know what the fuck she. I don't know who she was, and she walked by and I was like, "God damn, who the hell's that?" And um, my boy was like, oh, "I think she's um, used to date Ray J, or she's with Nick Lachey, or something." And basically, like she one of OJ's lawyer's daughter, really something like that. Yeah, and it was like, "Oh, okay." He was like, "Yeah, she's Armenian or something." Damn. Uh, sports real quick. I want to segue into sports because uh, we're, we're winding down to the half hour here. You know, I know I don't even keep up with that much sports. I've been watching baseball since it's back. You know, baseball season's back. Astros are kicking off, doing well. Lost a, a big uh, captain on the team, Correa, to another team, but it's what it is. Cam Newton here. Cam Newton hasn't been in the news in a while, but I, fought, I saw <laughs> this was a hilarious headline. People, they know, they know one Cam. They don't know Cam. The upbringing. Um, you growing up. What was that like? Mm. How was that? So I'm not one of these dudes to be like, bro, I'm gutter, I'm this, I'm that. Man, I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm-hmm. My parents has been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches, and I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of 
what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. <laughs> okay. You don't, know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women, now the kickback of that is be quiet. I'm going to be quiet for the man and handle his business. You know, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I'm going to be... I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be submissive to a man that handle his business. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to say. So what, what is your. But it's ways to do it. And I'm not just about to sit up there and beat up my, my, my queen. No, I ain't saying like that. But I'm also going to going to also tell the men to start being men, bro. Come on. Absolutely. Like, Come on. That, that Cam Newton. Shit should not be rewarded. Cam Newton. Bro, this is just the shit we be talking about. And it fall, I feel like it falls on deaf ears. Um. I'm a big fan now. Yeah, right? I'm like, I don't know who this gentleman is. I think he's a quarterback for the Panthers or somebody. <laughs> he uh, was. I don't know. Nice what cowboy right hat. Um, <laughs> but listen to what he's saying. And the real kicker is this. The, the thing that TMZ put at the bottom was like, yeah, so he's getting backlash now. Uh, duh, because he's telling women to be quiet and they need to know how to cook. Of course, they're going to spin it into division. Everything TMZ does is about clickbait. That's how they make money. And in this new era society we're living in, everything's about division. Everything's uh, division along the lines of gender, uh, uh, ethnicity, class. Well, easy for him to say he's elitist. He's rich. Blah, blah, blah. Everything is division, right? Now, what he finished saying, I think was common sense. Maybe, I don't know, maybe because I'm 42, call me old school. Um, I think there needs to be more people like him and what he's saying need to be more vocal. I'm sure his grandfather would be proud. His mother, his grandmother, and his father would be proud of everything he's saying because that's good, sound advice. All this other uh, Cardi B, pop that, put, put, put the lead in. I mean, this shit is vulgar than a motherfucker. I know I sound like an old tard, you know, a turd, right? <laughs> old tard. <laughs> tard as well. Oh, both, right? A tard turd. <laughs> a really old piece of tard turd. Shrimp fish tartar. This whole episode is worth it for you to say that. Yeah. A no ass tard turd. Like, anytime they promoting this bad bitch culture and this, you know, all this type of synthetic fake there's no fulfillment in that. There's no spiritual food in that. There's no harmony. Like, like what I always say on my show, the natural order, fellas, let me talk to the fellas. I'm, you the man of the house. Right. This is the natural order of things. Don't fall for the okie doke. They're trying to divide us because when shit hits the fan, they're going to be looking at us to figure it out. And all this shit is facts, in my opinion. You're going to have more harmony, more peace. It's in the natural order of things. You're going to have... It's just a better dynamic when everybody plays their role. Like you can't sit up here and say like there aren't differences between men and women. Right. Um, I think it's good advice when old school people school their granddaughters and their daughters to be like, hey, don't nobody want no fast little chick. Don't be out there showing all your stuff. Right. Uh, don't be out here trying to twerk it for the gram. That's not that's not going to lead you anywhere. That's not cool. Um don't be one of these little smart mouth chicks. Like uh, there's a dude named, um, damn, what's his name? Kevin, Kevin Samuels. Have you heard of him? Mm -hmm. So there's this like, I'll just call him like a personality, right? What, what Kevin Samuels does is this black dude. Usually he's dressed pretty sharp, like suit and stuff. And he goes on these YouTube lives and I guess he takes calls and FaceTimes and it'll, it'll be like a new contestant. It'll be like a female. Like, hey, where, where you from? How you doing? Oh, well, I want a man. And well, how many kids you got? I got four kids. How many baby daddies? Three. You know, <laughs> it's like, where do you work? Well, you know, I hustle. I get by. No, no, that's not a job, sweetheart. And he's just like telling them the truth. Like, basically, you're demanding all this stuff. You want this. You want a man with a good job that's respectful, that's this, and da da da. And you want to get your stuff together. He's like, but. You over here showing your stuff on Instagram. You 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 looking for a sucker to catch slipping and you got all these kids. You ain't got no education. Like he's saying like, you don't work. You're just waiting for the next man. He's like, how do you think you're going to compete? You know what I'm saying? So applause. I love what Cam Newton said. I just feel like it's common sense. 
it's kind of conservative value ish. That's really what the black community was before this era of like the I'll, I'll blame it on the white liberal. <laughs> when the white liberal made a concerted effort to dismantle the nuclear family, uh, if you look at statistics, if you read anything about Thomas Sowell, he's always going to, Candace Owens even, he, they're always going to break down, show you how the black nuclear family, how like church has always been a, a, a thing. Um, it was, there was always fathers in the household up until a certain time when the white liberals started preaching that shit and started saying lies. Say you say you're not with your baby daddy so you can get this welfare. Say this, say that. And just like incentivizing people and really trapping people into this, using you as a political pawn. So I love everything he said. You I want agree. you want to hear the top four? As soon as you Google his name, you want to hear the f- top four headlines? Google. Let's see what the fuck Google had to say. Cam Newton, not a fan of bad B.H. Women who can't cook and don't know how to be quiet. Number two, why Cam Newton's words about women hurt beyond his right to say them. Three, Cam Newton says women don't know how to let men lead. Four, Carolina Panthers say that they're still open to taking Cam Newton back. So that's great. I I think I need a screenshot. See, like, this is the kind of stuff I would want to post on my Instagram. Unfortunately, they're going to do me like they did Cam. The only thing Cam Newton said was, basically, I grew up in this type of household. Um, This bad bitch culture of saving up for your BBL and thinking that's (laughs) that's all you need to do in life. Versus you got a loud mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, You think you run everything now. Uh, you being demanding and all you got is a BBL. That's it. That's all you bring to the table is a BBL. Dude, with people like, I mean, obviously this is the first video I've seen of Cam beating this outspoken about a topic like this, but uh, you got Cam Newton on one, you got Cam Newton and um, Kyrie Irving on one side, and then you got LeBron and uh, Kaepernick on the other side. Why is it that those two on the left seem to, or on, in this they example, get checks. they definitely get checks, but Besides them getting checks, they're it's it's like people are more receptive to them in their message. Talking about um, just um, fan like people talking about Kaepernick. Yeah, Kaepernick, yeah. LeBron. Like the culture in that sense <laughs> seems to be more pro LeBron and Kaepernick versus Cam and. It's because in this country we're too close to the issue and we don't we don't see the propaganda while it's happening. A lot of times we need to zoom out and and look at it through the lens of oh I get it. Nike works with China. China loves division. China loves when athletes complain about America. Right. You give them a pat on the back. You give them a check. Oh, Colin Kaepernick. Yes, he has every free speech right to protest how he how he sees. He wants to kneel. Fuck it, let him kneel. You know what I mean? He thinks there's the conversation should happen about police brutality. Cool. Maybe we should happen. We should have that conversation in a productive way because I don't think anybody likes seeing what happened to George Floyd. And. And then LeBron, he loves to complain about America and everything's racist. So that's what gets rewarded. The apparatus is going to prop up that type of rhetoric. And why? think about this, y'all, conversely. Why are they jumping on Cam Newton so much just because he said some common sense shit that probably 98% of y'all agree with? Like, yeah, there's an, especially like Latinas, like a traditional Mexicana is like, pues si, yo me levanto, les hago lonche. Even when they're like separated on the brink of divorce and shit, don't even sleep in the same room. They're like, well, of course I got to get up and make him his lunch. Yeah. It's like, y'all don't even sleep in the same room. It's right. like, but he, he's the man in the house. Or that's my husband still type of thing. Tiene que comer. Que va a ser el burro? Que va a ser el burro? Exactly. So for whatever reason, the traditional way jives with what Cam Newton's saying. But think about why they're trying to frame him. Why? Because it's a perfect opportunity for the globalists leftists to spark more division and as soon as you try to get off the plantation as soon as you stop to stay as soon as you start to say bad bitch culture ain't shit for us and it's holding us back you better shut up what you finna complain about next black on black crime slapping the shit out of yourself bro if he started saying and i think black and black black and black on black crime is whack they gonna come for him um uh, racist white supremacist rhetoric has permeated the black community. Now these elite rich athletes who don't think women have say <laughs> like they're going to Rob brought up a great question. Why is it that Kaepernick and LeBron going to get nothing but praise, even though they said that the NFL is like the slavery, but I can't wait to play again. And then Kyrie, did they come for him too? like anti-vaxxer? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. What did they? How did they slander him? The, I mean, in simplest form, it would be that that you're misguiding our our uh, our people, kind of thing. Like you're not helping them take care of themselves. They're mis uh, you know misfactualizing or what, misinformation. You know, spreading misinformation about all. It's the same shit that anybody who was white would have gotten. Like I would like to just throwing it out there here. JJ Watt say some shit like that as a white guy, right? He's a, he's he's a very he, people love JJ Watt in the NFL, right? He's always runs out with the flag. He always you know feels like he's everybody's friend and shit. Does the H-E-B commercials when he was here as a Texan. Uh, but he doesn't ever really like, you never know how that guy really feels. Like he's just kind of giving it to you the way that he, I guess the people are telling him to give it to you. Like, Hey, you're a fucking America's hero kind of thing. Like, don't, don't, don't go picking sides and telling people that you need to have a strong household like your wife, you know, about, but it would help if, if Cam Newton said this and a JJ Watt character said this, both of them have the same messaging, but they look like and come from different backgrounds. They just ad- adapt the way they attack them. They yeah. adapt the attack. Remember, if you're white and you're saying these kinds of things, they're going to hit you with race first. If you're black and you're saying these kinds of things, they're going to find a way to twist it up into like either you cooning, shucking and jiving for the man, uh, you the black face of white supremacy. They're going to find an angle to come for your neck and check you so you stay in line and they can keep promoting the same shit that's leading our communities down the wrong path. Like a lot of Latinos and minorities, we like some law and order. We're not all against the police. You know what I mean? Yeah. We Shit. We just want to go to work, come home, and some safe shit, safe communities for the kids. And, uh, you know, it, it's real funny, though, how they start coming for you. And I, I don't know if people see it yet. Well, I'm sure next week we'll have more on this because there's no way that this is going to blow over within the next four or five days. Like, there'll be more about this. I love it. And like I said, man, I wish I could post it. I wish I could just post what he said and be like, do y'all agree or disagree? And then right away, they're going to jump on my neck. He'll go, oh, shut up, fool. You're just mad because Trump lost, fool. Hey, fool, shut up, fool. Trumpita's <laughs> dick in your mouth, fool. <laughs> hey, fool, you're just mad because the orange one, fool. Get that orange out of your mouth. Hey, fool, hey, trompitas, fool. Hey, your papi, you, hey, you're still mad about that shit. Let it go, dog. Yeah, fool, yeah, fool, yeah, perdió, fool. And it's like, all right, fuck it. Keep promoting that BBL shit. We're going to post it on the What Did He Said page and then ask that same question, and then you can just chime in in there and see what people say. For sure. All right. That's my outlet. Have a good rest of your week, guys. Thank you, guys. Y'all be safe. Peace.